Hey everybody, Jerry here from Android Central, and we're having a look at a new game out in the market, uh, Domino Solitaire, and we're showing it here on the Zoom. It looks great on a tablet, so we wanna look at it. Uh, you load the game up, this is what you'll see. You have a little bit of options. You have music and sound. Let's turn that music down a little bit. Turn the sound down a little bit. And you can show the time or choose not to show the time. Tap there and you can see the publisher and the developer, uh, Christinix Games and Mark Ripley. Good job, guys. Let's go back. And we'll have a look at the game, Domino Solitaire. No, I don't want to resume the previous game. You pick a level. It's kind of like a Mahjong and dominoes at the same time. You've got, you know, a set of dominoes down the side that are all hidden in here somewhere. Like you've got your double blank. Uh, we can assume that this double blank matches up with that. You just select them, you drag across. Uh, here's the double five. And you can see it disappeared over there. But that might not be right. You have to, uh, you know, use a little bit of logic. Like, okay, we know that that one has to be that because there's no other match. Same over here. That has to be six five. And you notice that that one disappeared. And you carry on. You know, these have to be the same. These have to be this way. Then these will have to be like this. And you go through, and as you select them, they disappear on the sides. And let's see if I can't, you know, work a little bit at this one. Uh, that's probably it right there. And you just work at it until they disappear. It's a really fun game. It's, it's you know, it's not a bunch of action. You're not shooting and killing and carrying on. But it, you know, it, it's a lot of fun. Here's double fives again. And we'll put that one there. Ah, here's a double one, one, two. See that opened it up there. So that one's wrong. So that means it has to be this way. And we've got a four and one left. So we know that that one's that. Here's our last one. So we want, and they get progressively harder. You go to the next one. And it's a little bit harder to do. Got a few there that you know have to be. And that gives you a little bit of chance to use a little bit of deductive reasoning to get to the next ones. And it goes on like that. Gives you a time up at the top. Uh, if any time you get it to the point where you can't make any sense of what's left anymore, you just hit the reset button. And it resets it for you. And it's, it's a fun way to sit and quietly enjoy your tablet or phone. It, like I said, it works. It looks great on the Zoom. That's why we're showing it on here. They did a really good job with the graphics, and it's a nice, smooth gameplay. But there's another game there that's a lot harder. It's called Buccaneer. Resume the game, no, because I was horrible at it and still am. You have seven blocks, seven sets. And each can each stack can hold up to five dominoes. Your goal is to get your doubles. Like here's the double four at the bottom. Uh, one and three here and three and four there means that I can move that over because the threes match. Uh, same here, two and four will go on top of two and two. And you move it over and you scratch your head and you work it all out until you figure it out and I have been unable to do it yet. It's very difficult, at least to me it is. Maybe one of you guys will just jump right in there and laugh uncontrollably at how bad I am at this game. But the point is it's fun. It's, uh, you know, not, not everything on your Zoom has to be uh, killing people in the dungeon or any of the other action games that are out there. Uh, slicing fruit, whatever. Some games are great, just sit down quietly, play. Uh, it's like it's got beautiful music and it's a lot of fun. I think you all ought to check it out. We'll have a, a download link in the post and I'm gonna try to figure this out so I'll probably be gone for a few days, but you all have a good one and I'll talk to you later.